Hi everybody! Welcome or welcome back to our channel. If you are new here and do enjoy our content, feel free to subscribe to our channel and click the little bell, that way you never miss a notification. Today, I'm going to be doing an introduction video. My name is Alkira, and I decided that I'm going to start up a series and that every now and then, maybe a couple times a month, we're going to do a Meet the Altars videos for basically everybody in the system that wants to participate on the channel. Um, even if it's just a one-time video of them making an introduction. So that's what we're starting as of today. What I'm starting. And I guess let's just go ahead and get into it. So my name is Akira. My gender is female. And my age is... Well, I'm an age slider. Sometimes I'm 17 and sometimes I'm 21 and then sometimes I'm 23. So anywhere between those ages, I basically jump back and forth. What is your role? Um, my role in the system is a caretaker soother and I'm also a host. Um, but most of the time I'm just a caretaker soother. Um, I don't host a lot, but sometimes I'm needed to and I can do both. So with my role as a caretaker soother, um, within the system, I usually try and help out with the children. I try and help take care of them. I also help out with like the, um, the architect of the inner world, basically. So I mostly help out in the garden. I help tend to the flowers and, you know, make sure that they're growing properly and that everything looks nice. Um, within that aspect. And then sometimes I also uh, travel within the system and I go to the city and I help people there. Um, I don't really, I don't know how else to describe what I do. I just help take care of things. I help people feel better, um, especially the littles. I like to read to them and play with them, take them to the parks. And I... I don't know, I'm a very nature-loving person. I love to be outdoors, um, in the sunlight, especially. I also like the snow and the cold. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I do and what I enjoy. And that's also my role. What is my sexuality? Um, I'd actually like to think that I'm asexual. I haven't had an interest in people um, at all, really. I do enjoy uh, the company of others, but as for relationships and what I prefer in people, I don't really know. I don't really have an interest in any of that. At least not right now. That may change, and it may not change, um, but I'm always open up to new things. Five interesting things about me. I like salad. I love a very fresh salad, especially with carrots and broccoli and ranch dressing sometimes. I mostly like the vinaigrette dressings, especially the raspberry one. Oh, it's so good. And I like lots of cheese on it, preferably the white cheese. Um, and obviously spinach and uh, like cabbage, I think, uh, and radishes. Oh, I love radishes. Um, and some salt and some pepper. Like, I just really like salad and I love like topping it with everything. Even bacon crumbles. I kind of like those. I don't have those often, but when I do, it's always on a salad and it's amazing. Anyway, um, yeah, I love salad. I, I love listening to music. And I love doing our self-care, so I, I love, like, um, self-care baths, like when I use bath bombs and Epsom salts and lots of bubbles and just a really hot bath and then light a candle and listen to music. I love listening to very soft, um, calm music, uh, music that's going to get me in a good mood or music that's going to help me relax a little bit. I love music like that. Um, so I guess that's like three things altogether. Um, 
I'm very outdoorsy. I love gardening. I love going on hikes. I love being outside in general. Um, I like to go fishing. I like to garden. I think I already said that though. Um, so that's another thing. And a fifth. Um, I am a major animal lover. I love cats and I love dogs and birds and hamsters and fish. I love a lot of animals. Favorite song, movie, and TV show? Um, I have far too many favorite songs to just list one. Um, so I don't really know an answer to that. A favorite movie would have to be A Mouthful of Air. I think we watched that recently. Well, not recently. It's been several months, but um, it was, it's a very sad movie, but it's so raw and honest, um, about the struggles of postpartum depression. And we went through postpartum depression, uh, when we had our daughter. And so, like, I really relate to that. I, I liked the concept. I loved the honesty. And it's a very sad movie. Because the character, she went through postpartum depression and she was just consumed by it even in the moments that she was not drugged down by it she was still controlled by it because like it was still there and she knew it was and even when it wasn't present um and you know really weighing her down it was still there and it would just continuously keep coming back up and when it did it was so awful for her that she just couldn't she couldn't get through it and there is a few suicide attempts in the, in the movie and it's just such a um it's such an impactful movie and i really really enjoy it as for tv shows i don't really have any that i like at the moment but if you guys have any that you think that i might like uh leave me some comments down below and I will definitely check them out. And also let me know what platforms that they're available on, that way I know exactly where to go look. What do I think of the channel? I think it is spectacular! I love our channel. Um, I love the interaction that we receive from you guys that watch our videos, and I love interacting with you guys, and I really like this idea of like doing Meet the Alters videos. I really enjoy it. Um, and I think you guys deserve to get to know us, even if fusions happen. We can always make another introduction video later on if we have a fusion. Um, and explain, you know, hey, this was my first introduction video, but now this is my second and here's why. And like, talk about fusion and talk about how different we are now. Like, it doesn't have to be a permanent introduction video because obviously things will change. And fusions happen and life goes on. What do I look like? I have very long blonde hair. Actually, it's about this length. Sometimes it's longer, um, but it's like a platinum blonde hair. I am very white. I'm very pale. I am basically like a vampire or, you know, as white as a piece of paper. I have very pale skin. I have very sharp facial features and I have very light blue eyes. Um, and I don't know. I guess I'm average height. Um, I'm pretty thin, um, but like an average thin, I wouldn't say that I'm too thin and I wouldn't say that I'm too curvy or too bulky or anything like that. I'm just your average skinny person. Um, and I will obviously put up a base claim of myself that I use and I will have that somewhere up here. I don't know where, but we'll, you know, we'll see and you'll see it too. So you'll know what I look like. So I've also done, um a test to find out what my personality type is and today I'm going to be sharing that with you. I am a protagonist. Um, my letters are ENFJA or ENFJT. Protagonists feel called to serve a greater purpose in life. Thoughtful and idealistic, these personality types strive to have a positive impact on other people and the world around them. 
They rarely shy away from an opportunity to do the right thing, even when doing so is far from easy. Protagonists are born leaders, which explains why these personalities can be found among many notable politicians, coaches, and teachers. Their passion and charisma allow them to inspire others, not just in their careers, but in every area of their lives, including their relationships. Few things bring protagonists a deeper sense of joy and fulfillment than guiding friends and loved ones to grow into their best selves. Protagonists tend to be vocal about their values, including authenticity and altruism. When something strikes them as unjust or wrong, they speak up, but they rarely come across as brash or pushy as their sensitivity and insight guide them to speak in ways that resonate with others. These personality types have uncanny abilities to pick up on people's underlying motivations and beliefs. At times, they may not even understand how they come to grasp another person's mind and heart so quickly. These flashes of insight can make protagonists incredibly persuasive and inspiring communicators. Changing people's minds is no easy task, but if anyone can do it, it's a protagonist. Protagonist's secret weapon is their purity of intent. Generally speaking, they are motivated by a sincere wish to do the right thing rather than a desire to manipulate or have power over other people. Even when they disagree with someone, protagonists search for common ground. The result is that people with this personality type can communicate with an eloquent and sensitivity that are nearly impossible to ignore, particularly when they speak about matters that are close to their hearts. When protagonists care about someone, they want to help solve that person's problems, sometimes at any cost. The good news is that Many people are grateful for protagonist assistance and advice. After all, there's a reason that these personalities have a reputation for helping others improve their lives. Protagonists are genuine, caring people who talk the talk and walk the walk. Nothing makes them happier than motivating other people to do what's right. But getting involved in other people's problems isn't always a recipe for success. Protagonists tend to have a clear vision of what people can or should do in order to better themselves, but not everyone is ready to make those changes. If protagonists push too hard, their loved ones may feel resentful or unfairly judged. And while this personality type is known for being insightful, even the wisest protagonist may sometimes misread a situation or unwittingly give bad advice. People with this personality type are devoted altruists ready to face slings and arrows in order to stand up for the people and ideas that they believe in. This strength bolsters protagonist. Innate leadership skills, particularly their ability to guide people to work together in service of the greater good. But their greatest gift might actually be leading by example. In their day-to-day -day lives, protagonists reveal how seemingly ordinary situations can be handled with compassion, dedication, and care. For these personalities, even the smallest daily chores and actions, from how they spend their weekend to what they say to a coworker who is struggling, can become an opportunity to lead the way to a brighter future. Now I'm going to be sharing my strengths and weaknesses based on my personality type. Here are some of my strengths. Receptive. Protagonists have strong opinions, but they're far from closed-minded. They recognize the importance of allowing others to express themselves fully. Even when protagonists don't agree with someone, they recognize that person's right to voice their truth. We are reliable. Few things bother protagonists more than the prospect of letting down a person or cause that they believe in. People with this personality type can be counted on to see their promises and responsibilities through, even when it's difficult to do so. We are passionate. Protagonists are far from being boring do-gooders. These types are brim with interest, and they take great pleasure in pursuing their hobbies, whether that's hiking, cooking, dancing, growing houseplants, or something else entirely. As a result, they rarely find themselves at a loss for something interesting to do. Altruistic. These personalities are known for harboring, harboring a deep desire to be a force for positive change. Protagonists genuinely believe that if they bring people together, they can do a world of good. Charismatic. 
determined and inspiring protagonists often find their way into leadership roles, whether they're captain of their softball team or a leader on the world stage. They rarely lose sight of their main goal, to be of service to others. Now I'm going to share with you some of my weaknesses. Unrealistic. Many protagonists put pressure on themselves to right every wrong that they encounter, but no matter how hard these personalities strive, it just isn't realistic for them to solve all of the world's problems. If they aren't careful, they can spread themselves too thin and be left unable to help anyone. Overly idealistic. Protagonists tend to have a clear idea about what's right and what's wrong. They often think that everyone shares these fundamental principles, or at least that everyone should share these principles. So it can come as a genuine shock to protagonists when people violate their core values, such as truth or justice. Condescending. People with this personality type enjoy teaching others, particularly about causes and beliefs that matter so much to them. But at times, protagonist attempts to enlighten others may come across as patronizing. Not the most effective strategy for persuading other people, unfortunately. Intense. When it comes to self-improvement, protagonists are rarely short of energy or determination, but they may not recognize that everyone might not share these qualities. At times, protagonists may push others to make changes that they aren't ready for, or simply aren't interested in making in the first place. Overly empathetic. Compassion is among this personality type's greatest strength, but protagonists have a tendency to take on other people's problems as their own, a habit that can leave them emotionally and physically exhausted. Well, now you know more about me and about my personality and what I'm like. I would say every single thing that I read was very spot on, even if some of my things were called out very, very honestly. I really enjoyed taking that test and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Um, that is everything that I had to share today. I really hope you guys enjoyed my video, and if you want to get to know me even more, feel free to leave me some questions down below and I'll be happy to answer them in a Q&A video in the future. Thank you all so much for watching our videos, and thank you for being here on our channel with us. And remember, please subscribe if you haven't already. We put out videos as often as we can, and we wouldn't want you guys to miss any of them. We will see you all next time. Bye everybody!